Peter Anderson Festival, you'll get a taste of beautiful artwork created by painters, potters, and creators from across the southeast. Many of the artists are homegrown talent. Parker Boyd introduces us to one of them. It's just another day in the office for social artist Elizabeth Huffmaster. I paint seven days a week, at least six to eight hours a day. Painting is something she's been doing her entire life. Sometimes I enhance my pieces with a little bit of acrylic, but most of the time it, it's watercolor. This is one of several paintings Huffmaster is ready to display at the 46th annual Peter Anderson Arts and Crafts Festival in Ocean Springs this weekend. She says she's been selling her work at the festival for more than 20 years. It's a chance for me to connect with my customers. A lot of the people I only see once a year at the Peter Anderson Festival. Huffmaster says she developed a skill for drawing when she was seven years old. That's when her parents enrolled her into private art lessons. I loved it. Piddled with it all through high school and a little bit into college. She says she would go on to get a degree in graphic design, but after her son was born with disabilities, she became a stay-at-home mom and her connection to painting grew deeper. I turned my hobby for art into what is now a pretty busy career. Huffmaster has won the festival's Blue Moon Art Project several times. Her work is again featured on the official poster and a walk into her shed brings more surprises sprinkled with watercolor. How much of this work in here do you plan to sell? I usually end up selling out of my ornaments, um, most of my note cards, Christmas cards, so it's a, it's a pretty lucrative event for me. Peter Anderson is the largest arts festival in Mississippi, where you'll meet artists and food vendors from all over the country. Huffmaster hopes to stand out among the many vendors there. The longer you do something, the better you get. I'm really happy when someone comes by and says, oh, you know, I bought this piece and I look at it every day and I just love it and that makes me feel good. She says she wants to inspire other artists to keep creating. In Socher, Parker Boyd, WLOX News Now. There's also a chance for youngsters to take part in a young art program at the festival this year. You can check out PeterAndersonFestival.com for more details. And your forecast is coming